Hey what's up everybody welcome back to another video my name is David and in today's video I'll be giving you a complete step by step guide on how you can back up your WordPress website for free. I'll go through all of the steps and I'll even create a backup for you live in this video and I'll show you how you can restore your website to that backup. So if that interests you then stick around, subscribe and let's get into today's video. Now the very first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to our plugins page to download our backup plugin. So go to plugins Press add new plugin over here. And the plugin we're going to go ahead and choose is called Updraft Plus. So just go ahead and type that in over here. We can see this is the plugin right here. It's a very popular plugin, five star rating from about 8,000 reviews. It's always updated. As we can see over here, the last update was two weeks ago, and it has three plus million active installs. So if you press this more details option, you can read all of the different things that this particular plugin can do. So if I scroll down right here, it tells us we can back up to Dropbox, Google Drive, and all of these other platforms. So that's great. And they even have a paid version that gives you even more premium features. Lastly, over here, it says we can back up manually or schedule it to run every two, four, eight, or 12 hours, daily, weekly, monthly, or fortnightly. So there's a whole bunch of options, and we're going to go ahead and set this up together. So to install it, we're going to go ahead and scroll down over here to where it says install now. Now, once we have it installed, we're just going to go ahead and activate it. And once we have it activated, it will be available to us over here. So once we have our plugin good to go, we're going to scroll to the left here to where it says Updraft Plus, click on that icon, and then we'll be directed to its main dashboard. Now, the first thing over here we can see is if you want to create a manual backup right away, you can press this backup now. But before we do that, let's go ahead and change the settings. So let's go to settings over here. And we can see the first couple of settings we have is the backup schedule. So when it comes to your file backup schedule, it's asking you how you want to do it. Do you want to do it manually or set it on a particular schedule? So I would recommend that if you don't necessarily use your website that often, or if it's a website that doesn't necessarily get updated pretty often, having a schedule of monthly or weekly should be good enough. However, if you do have a website that changes very often, then you can go ahead and choose one of these options. For this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and stick to monthly. And then you can go ahead and tell WordPress and this plugin how many backups should it make. I'll just keep it at two for now. Now you have your database backup schedule over here. Similar to this, you can go ahead and choose the different settings right here. Now the database backup schedule isn't usually as big in size. Over here, you, you just have your customer information, your plugin settings, all of the things that are more on a day to day basis. So over here, if you have an e-commerce store or a blog that you update daily, I would recommend backing it up on a daily or even weekly basis. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And over here, I usually like to have more backups of this. So I'll just go ahead and put five. Okay, so once we have your files and database schedule good to go and you have all of these settings done, the next step over here is to choose your remote storage. So that's the really cool thing about Updraft Plus is it saves your backup remotely. So if anything ever happens to your web server, if it burns down in a fire, you know your website can be restored easily. Okay, so you can just go ahead and pick one of these options. And if we scroll over here before we actually pick one of these options, we can see that this is what it includes in the backup. So your plugins, your themes, your uploads. And if, for example, you want to go ahead and exclude something from your backup, you can go ahead and add an exclusion rule over here. I'm just going to leave this for now, but in your case, if you, for example, want to exclude videos, you can add, for example, over here, all filed with this extension. And then you can say like MP3, for example. Okay, so it would basically just exclude all your MP3 files. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that for now. And then similarly, over here, we have all of these exclusions and settings, which I don't necessarily play around with it. I think that the default settings are really good. So once we have all of this in place, we can see right here, which says check this box to have a basic report sent to your email. I usually have it sent so that I know exactly what's happening and when my backups are created. And then over here, we can just press the save changes once we're good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the save changes on all of our settings. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and choose our remote storage. Now, in this example, I'm going to show you how we can do this with Google Drive because it's a straightforward and free process. But if you want to go ahead and use one of these other platforms, you can test that out. Just keep in mind that some platforms do require a premium service or subscription. For now, Google Drive is free and so is Dropbox. Those are the ones that I recommend. So I'm going to go ahead and select Google Drive right here. 
So once we do that, we can see right here, it's telling me, okay, the Google Drive folder is going to be called Updraft Plus. That's fine. That's perfect for me. And over here, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with Google so that I can link this particular plugin to my Google account. So we can see I've been directed to this page where it's just asking me for confirmation to link both these accounts. I'm just going to go ahead and press continue. So once we have that done, we'll be directed to this page over here, which says to complete setup for Google Drive, press the button below. So I'm just going to go ahead and press it. And once we do that, we can see that now our Google Drive is connected to Updraft Plus. If I go to settings right here, we can now begin creating our backups. So we can see right here, it says success. You have authenticated your Google Drive account. We're good to go. And you can see here, it says your Google Drive quota storage is 0.1%. So I have a bunch of storage available. Now, once we have all of these settings in place, let me go ahead and show you how we can actually back up our website. So if I go and press this backup option right here, I can press backup now, and then we'll be directed over here, which says take a new backup. And over here, I'm going to include your database, your files, and send this backup to remote storage, which is my Google Drive. So that's all good. And press the backup now. So we can see right here, it's backing it up. It's creating all of the different things and then sending it to my remote storage. It's usually a pretty quick process depending on the size of your website. So let's give it a second while this loads. So here we are, everyone. Your backup has finished running. And we can see right here that it exists over here. So I can go ahead and see all of the different things that's backed up. And right here, I have an icon for Google Drive, which is my remote storage. Now I can directly restore it from here, or I can go ahead and restore this particular version by going into my Google Drive and restoring it over there. So let me just very quickly show you what this looks like on my Google Drive. So here we are, everyone. We can see that it's created a folder called Updraft Plus where it has all of my backups available for me. Okay, so that's great. I can go ahead and use it to then restore it. So let me just go back to the plugin page over here and let me show you very quickly how we can restore a particular website. So I can go over here and press this restore option. And then right here, you can go ahead and choose all of the different things you want to go ahead and restore and then press next. And then right here, it's going to basically download all of the different things from our Google Drive. And then once everything has been completed, we can go ahead and press the next option and your website will basically be restored to its previous level with just one click. It's really that easy. So we can see right here, it says that it's retrieved all of the files successfully and now we can just restore it. And now it's going to go ahead and take everything from my website and put it back to the last backup. And there we go, everyone. It was restored successfully. We're good to go. Now I can return back to Updraft Plus. And it was really that simple. My website is back and it's working again. So on that note, everyone, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and press the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more WordPress content like this, then check out these videos I've made on WordPress plugins and how to speed your WordPress website. That being said, everyone, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.